Can I present to you the organizer, Greg Ryan. First off, I just want to say well done, Dave, when you got to the final. Give yourselves a round of applause. Um, as you know, we've been running uh, this uh, kind of, well, auditions up and down the country. We've had so many entrants, but yet we, we narrowed it down to the people who we felt had what it takes to go to the final, and we, who has what it takes to be Ireland's next model. So um, we're very delighted to have you here tonight. We're very delighted for the people that we've picked, you know, personalities, even with the auditions alone, you all came across really, really well. Lovely personalities, lovely way about you. Um, I, don't want, I don't want to go on too much, I just want to kind of explain about the event. But um, as you know, this, this event is to find a male and female um, next top model. Um, as I explained, the reason, the reason why this all came about was is that the companies that use um, models in Ireland want new faces. They're kind of sick of using the same faces. So we said, okay, well, you know, there isn't enough opportunities for people like ourselves to find new models in this country and give them the exposure that they need. So we said we'd run this contest and we'd find two, two people that we're, we're out looking for. Now, even after, you know, I'm not just saying two people are just going to get a big career out of this because after Mr. Ireland alone, I think there was five people alone that got signed off the back of that. We have nine agencies coming at the, on the final from England and Ireland um, who will be scouting talent as well. So, you know, but at the end of the day, we, unfortunately, we've only won. We've only, well, two places for the winners. But, you know, use this, use this experience as something that's going to stand to you, you know, if, you know, if you don't win the contest, who cares, look, at, look, it's great to be involved in something like this, it's great to get your name out there, to get the experience, you know, and to be a part of something like this, and, you know, to meet some great people, and to meet people in that industry is great as well, um, but the thing about it is, is, you know, give it, give it socks on the night anyway, as, as, as I say anyway, you know, and, you know, hopefully, you know, more than two people will get signed on the night, you know, that's what we aim to do, we aim to create an opportunity, as I explained, there isn't enough opportunities in the country for people like ourselves, and that's what we want, we want to create more of that, and, as I expect, more than I just want to say well done to everyone is, I'm, you know, I'm delighted with the people that we have here, and, and as I say, best look in the final, and, you know, We'll be kind of in touch with us all beforehand anyway, just to explain more details and come up to stuff like that. So again, you know, give yourselves a big round of applause and well done. <laughs> um, I have to just plug, I just have to plug two, two or three different people. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank Halo, who's the salon who's going to be doing you, the girl's hair and makeup on the night. I don't know what lens if you want your makeup done, that's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they'll do your hair anyway. Um, so they're going to be doing it here on the night, and plus they're going to give the person who wins uh, free, uh, free here or whatever for a full year, or so um, which is great as well. Um, and the girls are going to room. Um, also, we prize the, the part of the prize on the night as well is there's I think there's uh, 1,500 euros worth of jewellery for each person. Um, there's also um, a dress for the winning girl, I think, worth two and a half thousand, um, and also there's clothes for the man as well. So the boys are really good on the night as well. Um, also, I'd like to thank. Um, what's my thing? Why do you forget anybody? I hate this now. <laughs> the head like a stiff. It's written down, Greg. Any picture of him? It's a little easier for this now. Um, I want to thank um, a guy who's here tonight. Um, he's filming. It's uh, T.J. Carroll going to air this on the Saturday after it. And this guy here. How are you doing? He's going to. He's going to. Um, Hey, come on, let's hey. uh, just, just before anyone needs to leave straight away, I just need to get you to do a quick interview with JJ. JJ's from 2FM, so he's going to be just a quick interview with presenter, which is there, just to get a, a quick snippet with you for backstage kind of stuff. There's a DVD being brought out of this around the country as well. So this will be released on DVD as well. Um, so, you know, I want to get everyone in as a snippet and stuff like that. So, you check out his website, bring it bring it to the net, bring it to the net, is it? Bring it to the net.com. So, you know, um, you, you probably have stuff up tomorrow, just bits and pieces and stuff like that. It's also been broadcasted live on the night as well. It's going to be done over Facebook and stuff like that as well. So, that's another thing that's going to be done as well. Have you anything else to say? Um, I think that's really it. I just want to thank the local journalists as well, the field of who's uh, been very with me in the past. She's going to be helping me out tonight as well. So you've heard my plug there. Um, <laughs> yeah, friends of mine who came along there and uh, we throw a coffee a plug there the next time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, watch over this guy. He's going to be producing some really good stuff. He's going to be working for Zoom. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> so he's uh, next to him. Good job. Um, I just want to
get a quick plug in. Uh, I was in a boy band called Zoo. Our new single is out in general. We just <laughs> And you can catch us at the Joy Line and the Westlife Tour next year or something. So anyways, listen lads, thanks a million. And you know, we're going to have great crack, there's no doubt about it. I'm looking forward to the final. Um, the situation with tickets and stuff like that, Sam will explain all that to you if you want to go to Zanny. Like usually what we do with, with Condice like this, we did the same as we allocate tickets for, you know, just so you're looked after first with friends and family before the public. Because usually these events sell out and we don't want people coming on the night. Oh, I'm harassed uncle, there's no tickets left. We can only fit six to 700 people in in this venue on the night. And obviously with 35 contestants, that's probably the ticket sales alone. So, you know, and then there's public only built for two or 300. So look, talk to Zang, she look after and let her know how many tickets you need on the night. Um, I suppose that's it. This guy is gonna do some snippets, which is just a little, it's a little short to use about, you know, about the whole thing, why you entered it and what you want to achieve in life other people mind and stuff like that. So again, I won't waste more of your time. Thanks a million and well done. Hello, great.